In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the new features we got in Python 3.12s in the iter tools module, and this is called batched. So let's create an example so we can see how it actually works. And to do so, I'm going to first create some sample data. And the data is going to be a list of type integer from the range of one to nine. Then we can actually create the batch by creating a variable called batch of type batched. And that's going to equal the batched method with the data passed in. And we need to decide how many batches we want to create from this data. And in this example, I'm going to create four. And let's see what happens when we print this batch. Right now, if we run the code as is, we're going to get back an itatools.batched object, but that doesn't really tell us what this looks like. So we have two options here. We can either loop through this batch, which is essentially just a generator, or we can convert it to some sort of iterable, such as a list or a tuple. And in this example, I'm first going to convert it to a list. So you can see exactly what the batch method does. So right now, if we convert it to a list and print the result, you'll see that we're going to get back a list of tuples. And each tuple contains a batch of four elements, or at least it attempts to create a batch of four elements until it's exhausted. As you can see for number nine, we didn't have four elements, so it was only able to insert one. If we were to add a 10th element, such as number 10, we would have nine and 10 in that batch. And you can choose what kind of batches you want. You can even say it can be in batches of three and it will end up looking like this. Now we have tuples that contain batches of three elements until the data is exhausted. And don't worry about these inlay hints. I think they're actually quite funny, especially the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It's a ridiculous inlay hint, but PyCharm shows it by default for me. So I'm going to leave it there. If you don't have inlay hints enabled, it's just going to look like data and three, which probably looks much better than what my code editor is showing you. But anyway, that's actually all I wanted to cover in today's video. Do let me know what you think about this new feature in the comment section down below. But otherwise, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.